What's up, everybody? It's the Pennsylvania Sensation Greg Cherry, the longest reigning wrestling trivia challenge champion of all time. And uh, just to get into this pool, since I was the prediction champion overall last year, I figured it's time for another episode of Greg Cherry's Quick Picks. So, NXT TakeOver, Phoenix, as well as the 2019 Royal Rumble are both on tap. So let's get right into the card. Uh, for NXT, you have Matt Riddle against Cassius Ono to probably be the cap of their feud. I'm going with the bro, Matt Riddle, to win that one. Tag Team Championships, the NXT Tag Team Championships, the Undisputed Era facing off against the War Raiders. I still don't see it's time yet for the Undisputed Era to lose their championships, especially since it's their only match on the show. Um, so I don't expect the War Raiders to pick up the victory. I expect the rest of the Undisputed Era to play a part in them retaining. So Undisputed Era is still the tag team champions. Uh, the women's championship match, Shayna Baszler defending against Bianca Belair. Um, everybody on the panel video predicted that Shayna would retain. I'm going against that. I'm saying that Bianca Belair will become the new champion and stay on D V Ted. Uh, what else? The North American Championship will be Johnny Gargano challenging Ricochet for the championship in what will probably be one of the matches of the night if the main event's not. Um, I'm actually going to predict Gargano to become the new champion. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think Gargano is going to become the new champion. And then the main event, Aleister Black challenges Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT Championship. And I'm going to stick with Tommaso Ciampa to retain the NXT Championship. Maybe by interference from Gargano. I don't know if there's going to be a DIY reunion. I don't know if that's still on tap, but I think Ciampa somehow retains. Next up... 2019 Royal Rumble, and yes, yeah, I mean, you couldn't have a video prediction about the Royal Rumble without including yours truly, without including the Penn Sen. So that being said, the 2019 Royal Rumble, let's start with the kickoff matches, the United States Championship, Rusev against Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, they'll probably both be in the Rumble. There's only 19 guys announced as of when I'm recording this. So you have to figure there will be a couple other main roster guys included in this. Um, so I'm going to say that Rusev will retain the United States Championship. Uh, the fatal four-way for the Cruiserweight Championship, I'm just going to come out right and say Buddy Murphy retains. Because, I, I mean, he's been killing it on 205 Live, so why take the belt off him now? Figure he might lose at WrestleMania, but not right now. Uh, the main card, SmackDown Women's Championship, Becky Lynch challenging Asuka. <sighs> I, I need to avoid like fantasy booking because I would have Asuka actually defeat Becky Lynch with interference from Ronda Rousey or Charlotte. We, either one or both. It doesn't matter. That, I mean, the, the story should be the three of them battling each other all night and costing each other in their respective matches. I, I don't know if that will happen, but I'm going to say Asuka is still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Uh, flip over to the Raw side, Sasha Banks challenging Ronda Rousey for the Women's Championship. I think this match could steal the show. I mean, everybody knows I'm a big Sasha Banks guy. And, you know, she's kind of been forgotten the last year because she hasn't really had a main storyline. But this is finally her opportunity to show that she's still the boss. And a lot of people will crap on that. be like, oh, Sasha's a botcher, Sasha's a botcher. Sasha's been in some of the greatest women's matches the company's ever seen, so shut up. In fantasy booking land, I would have Sasha become the new champion due to interference from Becky Lynch and Charlotte, but I think they're going to keep the Raw Women's Championship on Ronda Rousey to make that potential triple threat or whatever's going to happen with her at WrestleMania for the championship instead of just a grudge match. So Ronda retains. Um, the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Shane McMahon and The Miz challenging the bar. And... A lot of people might be upset with me saying this. I hope that Shane McMahon and The Miz win because I've always been a Shane O'Mac guy too. And that's that's just the way it is. Um, so I hope that Shane and The Miz become the new tag team champions. The Universal Championship, Finn Balor against Brock Lesnar. This one is actually kind of hard to predict. I saw a fantasy booking thing where Braun would cost Lesnar the title 
and then maybe they can have Lesnar and Braun again without the title on the line, and Braun finally beats Brock. I think that would be okay. I'd be perfectly okay with that. Um, but I think they're going to keep the title on Brock. I, I hate to say it, but I think they're going to keep the title on Lesnar. As much as a Finn Balor upset would be fantastic and that crowd would explode, they're going to have to keep the title on Lesnar. For the WWE Championship, AJ Styles challenging Daniel Bryan, the new Daniel Bryan. I don't see a reason to take the title off Daniel Bryan just yet. I just don't see it. There's really no reason to do it. Um, yes, AJ's a great WWE champion. He has been in his past two reigns. But it's not necessary. It, it really isn't. I mean, Daniel Bryan is doing fantastic with his role as a heel. I say keep the championship on him. Daniel Bryan retains the WWE Championship is my official prediction. Not sure how, but that's irrelevant. Now my favorite picks. The Women's Royal Rumble and the Men's Royal Rumble. I, I believe we get two. I, I didn't... In past Battle Royals, we've gotten two, so I'm just going to pick a first pick and a second pick um, for both matches. Uh, first pick... First pick, I'm going to say Becky. Because somehow or another, she's going to have to win that to face Rousey, unless there's some other storyline loophole. But probably Becky's going to win. And my second pick will be Charlotte. I mean, I, it's it's a cheap way out, but who else can you really have win that Royal Rumble? Unless that person's going to face the SmackDown Women's Champion. I mean, you got to have some sort of build-up. So it's either going to be Becky Lynch, my first pick, or Charlotte, my second pick. Gotta go with it. Um, for the men's Royal Rumble, a little bit harder to predict. I feel like a SmackDown guy needs it, though, because there's opportunities on Raw to create a story between Brock Lesnar and whoever he's facing. Because, like I said, Lesnar's my pick to win. So, that being said, I don't want to go the safe bet again, but I almost feel like I have to. Um, at least for my first pick. I'm going to say Seth Rollins for my first pick. And for my second pick... I mean, who could he even have on SmackDown? Uh, there aren't... That, that's the problem. There aren't many built-up baby faces on SmackDown. And I don't think Randy Orton turned face by RKOing Samoa Joe on SmackDown. I, I mean, I guess it's got to be a Raw guy, huh? Because I could say Andrade, but I don't know if he's going to pick up the win, unless it's him and AJ at the at WrestleMania. So I got to go with Seth as my first pick, and my second pick, what the hell, Roman Reigns. I'm going to say they're going to throw that at us again, they're going to throw Reigns and Lesnar at us again just to make Reigns beat him at Mania. That'll be the biggest comeback story of all time. He he, he shouldn't have recovered already. I, I'm going to just throw out that scenario, just because. All right, I believe the two tiebreakers were who's going to show up at NXT and who's going to be a special or a surprise entrant in the Rumbles. So for NXT, my pick is going to be Sanjay Dutt, because the news just came out that Sanjay and Abyss we're headed to WWE in some capacity. Um, so maybe we'll see an appearance by one of them at TakeOver. Who knows? Uh, so I'm going to say Sanjay, because Abyss doesn't really make sense to just show up in the crowd, unless he does like his whole Joseph Park thing, which I hope not. Um, and then for the men's Royal Rumble, because I guess that's the only one you did a special prediction for, as opposed to the women's, because the women's was a little more wide open. Um, for the men's... I'm going to say, I feel like Velveteen Dream is an easy one. If I can't say Velveteen Dream, which would be my pick, I'm going to throw out... Shelton already on the roster. See, I can't even think of who would get a good pop. I'm going to, I'm going to say Gargano. Even though he's, he, in my predictions, would be NXT North American Champion, I'm going to say Gargano. So, those are my quick picks. 
Uh, my arm's getting tired. I don't know how the heck people do this holding the camera for it's a little over 10 minutes now. But, uh, yeah, I'm on vacation. I should be coming back shortly. I got another semifinal match to film for the Wrestling Trivia Challenge Championship Tournament, so check that out. Check out my shirts, prowrestlingtees.com slash PA Sensation. Follow me on Twitter at PA Sensation. And get ready for the Rumble, guys. We'll see you next time.